Today I'm going to be showing you guys the best controller settings and binds for people who don't play claw or paddles. But if you guys are new, make sure to like the video and subscribe with post notifications. Over to the settings, we have toggle sprint. I think this needs to be on. It's very important. Auto open doors. This is important for people who play no claw, no paddles, because when opening the door, you won't have to take your finger off the thumbstick. Mantle activation. Um, I just use it for jump, so I just double click my jump button. I think that's a good setting. Hold the squat pickup. This helps. So when you go to pick up a weapon all you have to do is hold the button that you pick up the weapon with and it'll automatically swap it for whatever's in your in your inventory toggle targeting you can leave that off mark danger when targeting on auto pick up weapons have that off because it does get pretty annoying when you just walk over some weapons and it automatically picks it up preferred item slots i personally choose not to use this because i feel like if i don't have a certain weapon it kind of messes me up um for auto sword consumables to the right that's how i like to have it in my inventory i like to have my heels all the way to the right reset building choice have that on disable pre-edit option i feel like that's important because i don't mess up edits as much turbo building you're gonna you're gonna wanna of course have that on Confirm edit on release. This is optional, but for no claw, no paddles, I feel like confirm edit on release is very important. Um, you can have contextual tips off, and then the rest of these settings don't really matter, honestly. Coming over to this part of the settings, I think this is all about preference. Um, the reticle, you want to have that on. Um, these right here are basically preference. Um, the damage numbers, you can have them in a list or the other way, it doesn't matter. The reticle damage feedback, you can turn it off or you can have it any way you want the numbers that show after you hit somebody like the damage you did you can have it at this or you can turn it all the way down or up it doesn't matter honestly i feel like i just have it on the the normal setting my hud scale i have it at 70 i feel like that's just ideal for me um spectator count just all this type of stuff um net debug stats um this just shows like your ping and stuff like that i like to keep that on because i like to know what ping i'm on and the rest of these settings aren't really important now coming over to this part of the settings the gyro settings a lot of people ask me if i use gyro settings or not i actually used to use gyro settings but i found that they aren't really as effective anymore I just personally don't like to use them but you can always have them on what this does is like whenever you move your controller like anytime you move your controller it kind of aims in that way so if you move it to the left then you're gonna be aiming to the left it's pretty cool but I feel like it does mess up my aim so I just don't think I need it on but if you guys want to have that on you can these are the most important part of the settings right here, the controller settings. So I have controller auto run on, that way I don't have to click my left stick button down. I just move forward and it automatically starts sprinting. Builder Pro, um, build immediately, of course have that on. Your edit hold time, you're gonna wanna have that down to zero because what this does is when you press your edit button, if you have this setting all the way up, then as soon as you press your edit button, it takes a while because that's how long it's going to hold for whatever you have this on so i prefer to have it down to zero so my edits are instant slide hold time um that just affects like how fast you slide when you press your button so in between me pressing the button and me sliding there's 0 0.150 seconds um you can have this all the way down but i prefer to have it like this reset camera axis i just have it at pitch camera time um all the way down vibration I personally think every controller player should play with vibration off just because I feel like using vibration does throw off your aim a little bit so I just tend to have it off. Um, my look sensitivity and aim sensitivity so I have advanced options on but um, these are what my look sensitivity and ADS are these are for like the old legacy settings I'm trying like you can't change them when advanced options are on. But when you come over here and turn advanced options off then you're allowed to change them but i i prefer to use advanced options on and have my settings like this um, i think that's a good sense right there build mode i play 2.0 for build mode and a 1.9 for edit sense i feel like this is really ideal i just think it's more efficient for me i hit a lot of my edits with a slower sense um coming over to horizontal and vertical speed 31 31 
a lot of people might say the sense is really slow and it is but i feel like with me a slower sense works because i'm able to hit more shots and more edits i'm just more consistent in the future i might look up to turning the sensitivity at maybe like a 36 something 35 i don't know a little higher but as of right now these are what my settings are my horizontal boost and vertical boost i personally have boost off i feel like it throws off my aim a little bit but maybe next week or something like that i'll look into playing with some boost and letting you guys know how it is turning boost ramp time i have it down to zero instant boost when building uh, i have that on my ads speed so as you guys see my aim is really good my tracking is really good this is what my ADS speed is. I feel like 1010 is the perfect sensitivity for ADS. It's not too fast and it's not too slow. So this is what I recommend. Um, your ADS boost, I have that off because I feel like it throws off my aim as well. Turning boost ram time, I have that off. Look damping time, I have that down to zero. And then I play linear. I feel like linear is a lot better than exponential. I think it just allows me to move how I want to move. And then aim assist strength, you're going to want to have that at 100. Copy basic settings, don't. I wouldn't press this. I don't I don't think you should press any of this. It's just going to revert back to the old settings. Um, then your dead zone. I have it at a 10-10. I think, I think my dead zone's okay. But if you want... If you want a higher dead zone then that means you're just going to be moving slower and the lower dead zone you go you're going to be moving faster so i think 10 is perfect for me um adapt triggers off and then yeah these are the rest of the settings and now coming over to the sound settings i have my main volume up to 100 uh that's just like all the audio in the game so i can hear clearly music i have that down to zero because i don't really like the lobby music i feel like it kind of distracts me in a way got sound effects have that at 70% dialogue voice chat all that stuff the most important part of these settings is visual sound effects now a lot of people say the visual sound effects aren't good and messes up your audio and stuff but I feel like it actually helps because it lets you know where players are right away you don't have to like sit there and listen very carefully you just look at the visualized sound effects and then you can automatically see where they are it does lower your audio a little bit but i feel like this helps in the end um and then these are just the rest of these settings now coming over and looking at the binds i feel like the binds are the most important part of the settings for no call no battles players edit as left stick that's really good for no call no paddles switch mode as touchpad you can either do um you can you can switch these around and do touchpad for edit and then um switch mode for l3 it doesn't matter i feel like these are more comfortable for me though my jump button is my right stick so i just simply press down on my right stick and i automatically jump crouch is x um my circle is my sprint button i just press it and i start sprinting sprinting really fast reload is square and then triangle is my pickaxe then my map is right on the d-pad emotes are down on the d-pad and then inventory is up and then for these settings over here it's pretty much the same thing and then for confirm and reset these are really important l2 confirm and r1 reset that's what's most comfortable to me you guys can switch these around and even use l1 confirm and r1 reset because i know that's pretty fast um faster because the triggers are they aren't as like sh they're shorter so it's a faster confirm button but i tried to get used to it and i just can't so i think l2 is the most comfortable for me but you want to have your confirm and reset on one of these as a no call no paddles player and then um yeah that's pretty much it honestly
Oh my god, bro. Good. 